In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a, a Cisco switch using a, a console cable. So if you are um, studying for CCNA or that kind of course, uh, it's better to have a real switch. Uh, this switch, uh, I bought it on eBay. Uh, it cost me $42. Um, and it's pretty cheap. You know, these are all the modern switches. You can buy it very cheap uh, on eBay. All right, so let's um, look at uh, what is the setup I'm going to use here. So if you look at here, this is the console port here. So let me show you. Uh, so it is written as a console here. So you plug into that. Um, so this is the. So if you look at here, so this is the cable. Uh, this is a um, D9 RDA45 uh, cable. Uh, normally it comes with a uh, switch. Uh, when you buy on a switch uh, on eBay, normally it comes with a switch. Uh, so, um, so you plug the RDA45 end to the console end. And then uh, this can go into your computer, a laptop or desktop. But uh, nowadays, most of the computers or laptops don't have this uh, serial connection. So you need to uh, get a USB um, that is a, a serial to USB connection. So this end is a USB, this is a serial. Okay, so you connect this one. And uh, my laptop is on a uh, little far away. Uh, so I have an extension cable. So if you see here, so these are the ends. So I just going to plug this into one end of the USB. And this is going to go uh, to my laptop. So I'm going to uh, go to my laptop. I am going to show you the rest of the process. All right. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to use a PuTTY the SSH uh, terminal client software to explain uh, this uh, console connection. I have opened up this PuTTY right now. You go to sessions and then you select serial connection. And you will see the serial line is COM1 and uh, it put COM1 as a default, but uh, most of the time, the one you are connecting your console connection might be something different than COM1. So you need to find out where it is connecting to now. As I mentioned before, I am using a COM a serial to USB connection for the communication. So I have to find out what is the translation between this USB to serial connection? For that to find out, I go to Device Manager. So I open up the Device Manager. It's opening up my other screen. Let me uh, drag it down here. So here's the Device Manager. So basically you go to the search and you type here device manager and you go to the port and here it is my a10 usb to serial bridge is a com5 right, i come here uh, basically you can go here to serial settings and change everything there and these are the default settings most of the time these uh, works fine with uh, most of the Cisco gear But here I am going to make one change here is a uh, speed is 9600 is a uh, data bit is 8 uh, Star bit 1 parity none and flow control also. I want to make it none. mostly is none Now I open My party It's here Okay, so I am into the switch now 
it's a uh, you know a used uh, factory defaulted switch so it doesn't have a enable password so here I am in the switch right uh, so this is how you connect in the party uh, let me open up the party again party to show one more thing in party party I go to serial it's again you see here it's it's again in Kanban I don't want this to happen all the time because I'm going to use this laptop uh, for the foreseeable future to connect uh, to all the switches so I go to uh, settings here uh, I make it from um, 5 and I make this as a none as I did before I go to session and I go to say my serial connection and I save this and I remove this default delete uh, it looks like I cannot delete the default settings okay so this is my serial connection right I saved it now and then I open up here and I have have the switch here so I close here let me close and then I go open party exc let me bring here so you see here it saved my connection so in the connection you see uh, serial session load you load the connection and you see all the settings come back up right so all are here so sometime you have different switches connecting at a different speed and you need different settings so you can customize and save those sessions for your future use instead of doing every single time all right so let's do another one so i also use Secure CRT. That's uh, also another um, terminal software. Okay, here is the. I'm going to show you how to uh, quick connect or connect in tab. Okay, here is the one. So I go to um, new session. And I define what I want. This is I want a serial. Next, and it give me the options. Oh, I know I am com five, and uh, I know my is ninety six hundred. Uh, these are the one I am using eight, non stop bit, and the flow control also now. Next, and I can save this session. Uh, serial use this okay. so settings finish okay here it is so I have this one saved here connect Unable to open serial access is denied. Okay. Serial. Just so, okay. What is happening here? Serial. Let me see. Serial. Maybe I do this one. Flow control is a little different to this one. Let's see. Reconnect. No. And then let's try this one. Okay. Uh, probably. Let's try. 
try some different speeds. So still denied option. We do Okay, uh, so let's see. The reason is the other, uh, you see there are two of the connection I have opened. Both of them are serial. So when one is in connection, other one uh, refused uh, the connection. So you cannot open two serial connection, two console connection at the same time. So let's, let's go and do all the settings. So for this to happen, you have to stop this session first. Stop it. So you have stopped this session now. Now you go to the session options. And I go to this is the one. I make it back everything as normal. And I press enter. And see whether, yeah, now I get the connection back. So, uh, yeah, so this is a typical example of what you face in the real world when you go and connect saying, you know, you opened up one uh, without knowing that's already accessing the uh, console connection and you are trying to access the second one. All right. Uh, so hope uh, this helps you. Um, and uh, thanks for watching my video. Bye.